Hi everyone, this will be the final section of this series. Now that we've learned packet capture and analysis, we move our focus to dealing with the post capture files. Saving capture. Through our previous videos, we already have an understanding on how Wireshark works about saving files. It saves the capture in a temporary file unless you specify the file path before you start capturing. So let's go to Wireshark now. We go to the options and in the output tab, here's where you can define the path if you want to capture to a permanent file. By default, it will save it in a temporary location. Another method would be to save the capture file once you are done capturing. Now Wireshark will not allow you to capture while it's still capturing the traffic. So let's say for example if we start a capture now. And we go to the file menu. We see the save option has been disabled. As soon as I stop the capture, the save option is enabled now. Let's click on save as. When it comes to saving the capture file, we have several options of the file format. Most probably we will be using the traditional PCAP or the next generation PCAP. What I want you guys to do is to study about all these various available capture formats. Also if you notice we have an option to compress with gzip which will be a lossless compression. That's how simple is it to save a capture file.